losing a home, it, it's almost like your world, your reality is coming apart. And not a lot of people can come back from that. Even if you're trying to get back on your feet, it is very isolating just because you don't feel human. When you're on the street and you have no place to live, nothing to eat, you're, you know, I was just really scared for my safety. I had gone through a divorce and just to lose my job, being disabled and having limited income, I didn't choose to be homeless. Our housing allows us to do everything that we can do in our lives by providing a foundational support for us. We get a good night's sleep. We have the ability to make a meal. We have the ability to go out to work and come home from work. People do not live by bread alone. In creating housing, you're creating a ladder. The first step off the sidewalk, maybe into a single room occupancy hotel, that can enable a person to get themselves together enough to you know, seek employment, and then they can make the next step up that ladder. Part of the reason that we're having such a real problem with affordable housing and homelessness is the lack of public funding for it. But it also comes from an economic system that doesn't support the working class in this country. When you're talking about affordable housing, you have to approach it from what we call them the three Ps. Prevention, and that means keeping the rents low. If we let the marketplace do it, then we'll have more people on the street. Then we're talking about preservation. We can't allow working class communities to become gentrified and to push the people who grew up there out. And then we're talking about production. And that is, how do we build and create new things, whether it's adaptive reuse or whether it's new buildings, in such a way that the cost is not prohibitive. First stop ought to be to take the buildings we have and, and make them into something that can house people. It's going to be faster to renovate a building than it is going to be built from scratch. And the other is, is that an older building that was built at a different time, and it's already there, is going to be less expensive to purchase. Here in Los Angeles, there are enough empty rooms in these old hotels to house every single person who's living on Skid Row today. Having remodeled these hotels and having them at an affordable price where, you know, I can actually have a clean environment, safe environment. I don't have to live with strangers. I can have my own privacy. I feel like a human being again. Being able to have a home is to wake up and actually be able to do what I want to do. I don't have to go somewhere for my food. Like I have a fridge now, I, I can eat. You start to feel normal again. Like I know I'm worth something to society. I know I can bring something.